I played 100 games of NHL 23, and this is what happened. Let's start this off by hopping into game number- Oh, okay. While hopping into game number two, let's talk about the three reasons why I wanted to play 100 games in NHL 23. The first reason would be to see how good I am against other players obviously. The second reason is to see my record after these 100 games, and the third reason would be to see all the crazy glitches, goals, and scenarios that happen. So in game number two, we give up a breakaway goal halfway through the first period, but we bounce back and score some incredible goals, and after the fifth goal to make it 5-2 in the third period, our opponent decides to quit. Game number three, we get the mirror match of Calgary versus Calgary, but I get the better of the two as I score three goals in the first period, and my opponent decides to quit. Game number four was a battle. I took the lead half halfway through the game with a goal by Dylan Dubé. In the third period, my opponent called me some not safe for YouTube names as I declined to fight him. But I would get my revenge as I score a disrespectful empty netter in the last minute to cause my opponent to quit. GG's. Game number five and my opponent decided to use Team Canada. It's time to stop! However, that would not save him as I go on to beat him 5-0 and outshoot him 26-4. And since I was so inspired by my opponent using an international team, I decided to use one too. Team Japan. Congratulations, you played yourself. Now this game is a wild one. After getting a two-goal lead, I blow that two-goal lead in the last 10 minutes. With my opponent up one goal, the unthinkable happens. We get hit with a blue screen. And the blue screen was too much for my opponent as he decides to disconnect. So I don't know if I count that as a win with Japan, but we'll get back to them later in the video. Back with the Flames in game number 7 and we scored 2 goals in the first period with Kevin Rooney. That was enough to cause the opponent to quit. Game number 8 and the new reverse retro jerseys are in NHL 23. Let's check- Oh, come on. Now since the new reverse retro jerseys are out, I wanted to take a look at all of them. But what better way to look at them than trying to get a win with every single team in the NHL? Jesus Christ! So in game number 9, we start our journey with the Anaheim Ducks. And this game was a little upsetting as I couldn't beat Carter Hart. And we beat the guy in every single statistic, but we still lost by one goal. Game number 10 is our second try with the Anaheim Ducks. And I score one very early in the first period. The opponent plays out the first period and then quits at the end of it. GG's, let's move on to Arizona. With Arizona in game number 11, we score three goals in the first 10 minutes, and then our opponent takes a penalty and decides to quit. Game number 12, and we're moving on to the Boston Bruins. This was a pretty frustrating loss as it was so laggy the game even froze at some points. On the opponent's second goal, I played perfect positioning, and I still couldn't pick off the pass. That would turn out to be the game-winning goal. Game number 13 is a wild one. A total of six goals, three fights back to back, and an own goal after a Michigan attempt? Okay. After a win with the Bruins, we're moving on to Buffalo in game number 14. And this one's a pretty easy one as my opponent quits after the second goal late in the second period. Game number 15 and we're back with the Calgary Flames. This game turned out to be an absolute banger as I tie the game in the last minute. But it gets even better because in the last second of the game, the opponent gives me the game winning goal. Game number 16 was the closest game you could get as we go on to have the same amount of shots and only 20 seconds different in time on attack, but a 4-3 win with Carolina means we're moving on. To game number 17 with the Chicago Blackhawks and we go up 3-0 and we give up two late goals but we manage to hold on for the 3-2 win. Game number 18 is an interesting one to say the least as it's a fairly even game all throughout the first period. And then my opponent disconnects? Game number 19 was a sloppy win, but a win nonetheless, as we win 1-0, and we got some pretty good saves from Merz Lincolns. Game number 20, and this one was sweaty. My opponent was using the Pacific All-Stars, and his L2 button was hanging on for dear life. The game was tied 3-3 in the third period, and then I scored this beautiful goal. <laughs> That would go on to be the game winner as my opponent quits after an empty net goal. Game number 21 was a dominant win with Detroit as we win 3-0. And check out this funny bounce on the third goal. Game number 22 and yes, another All-Stars user. Wait, However, the All-Stars could not save this guy as he rage quits after the third goal in the second period. How do people deal with like losing with the All-Star team? Like, how demoralizing is it that you use the best team in the game and still lose? We're moving on to Florida in game number 23. 
and we're only 23 games in and I think I've seen it all. My opponent decides to rage quit after a fight. <laughs> That's an easy one, nothing win. Let's move on. We're with the LA Kings in game number 24, and I kind of feel bad about this one. A high scoring affair, and with me being up 5 4 in the last minute of the game, the game blue screens, and my opponent quits. You gotta feel for him, though, because he had a pretty good chance to tie up the game. Game number 25, and we're with Minnesota, and this one was pretty upsetting. My opponent got an early lead in the third period and decided to puck rag quite a bit. It's pretty frustrating when your opponent can only score cross crease goals and puck rags when he has the lead, and so for that reason, this is one of the few times that I actually rage quit. But we get our revenge in game number 26 as we cause our opponent to rage quit after a 3-0 lead in the second period. We're all done with Minnesota. Game number 27 with the Montreal Canadiens and this was a pretty dominant win. Our opponent had a good push in the third period, but it wasn't enough as we were able to hang on. Also, can we talk about this one punch from Kirby Doc? Game number 29, and it's a story I've already told before. We score in the third period to go up 3-0, and another rage quit. GG's. Game number 30 is a very interesting one as we get the mirror match of the New York Islanders. I score the first goal of the game in the first period, and then my opponent disappears. He's still gone halfway through the second period, and then he finally disconnects. GG's? Game number 31 with the New York Rangers, and this was a pretty dominant win. My opponent decides to rage quit after the second goal, but he had to get some choice words in before he quit. You, dude. Y'all need Jesus. And here comes Debrinkad on a 2 on uh, Oh my goodness, come on. Game number 33, and this was a real tough one. My opponent was very good, and he capitalized on all their chances, and I just couldn't get anything strung together, so we take the loss on that one. And game number 34 is a perfect example of why you don't puck rag. If you're new to the NHL franchise and you don't know what puck ragging is, basically what it means is you hide behind your net with the puck to kill time so the opponent can't get a chance. And in this scenario, my opponent was puck ragging behind the net to kill a penalty in overtime. And when you rag the puck, Karma comes back to bite you. And moving on to game number 35 with the Pittsburgh Pet. Okay. And moving on to game number 36 with the Pittsburgh Penguins. And this one, Tristan Jari wanted to give me a little bit of a heart attack. Just like you, the viewer, are giving me a heart attack if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet. This video has taken over 20 hours for me to make. So if you've gotten this far and you're enjoying it so far, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Back to the game, Tristan Jari with less than 10 seconds to go lets in this weak angle shot to tie up the game. However, in the shootout, my puck was on a string, literally, and we clutch up to win the game. The exact opposite kind of game in number 37 with the San Jose Sharks, this time a 10-2 win. Moving on to game number 38, this time with the Seattle Kraken and a pretty easy 4-0 win. We scored some beautiful goals in this game. And now I feel bad because in game 39 we played the exact same opponent and we completely dominated as the opponent barely had one minute of time on attack. We're now done with St. Louis. In game number 40, my opponent wanted to know if he was going to become a YouTube star. It sure is going on YouTube and that's a 4-1 rage quit win with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Game number 41, we decided to stream a few of the games. If you want to see more NHL 23 live, we stream once a week here on YouTube, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm using Toronto, this guy's using Colorado. Who's the real cheeser here? Who's the real cheeser? Game number 42 just sucked. My god, the stuttering. Dude! What do I do? Ah! All right, third time's a charm with the Toronto Maple Leafs, and in game 43, we get a huge 4 0 win despite battling leg and terrible po checks. We are now done with Toronto. Let's go. That's a game, boys. Let's go. Let's go, baby. That's a huge win. 
In game number 44, we're with the Vancouver Canucks, and we get another 4-0 win. It was a fairly even game. I just capitalized on my chances. Vancouver's done. A little reverse retro matchup. I like it. Respect. Oh, my God. The dagger. The dagger. Game number 45 with the Vegas Golden Knights, and we're up 1-0, and we get a penalty shot. Or at least I thought we were going to get a penalty shot. Rip. Penalty shot? P shot? Wait. No, don't quit. I got a penalty shot. No, dude. I had a penalty shot. I don't even want to talk about game number 46. Oh, my God. No. Kuznetsov. Oh, I put so much faith in Kuznetsov. The AI. No. I put nine, I lost nine RP. Game number 47 was a battle the entire game. My opponent went up two nothing and I bounced back to make it four three. My opponent rage quit before the end of the second period. Washington's now done. Game number 48 was a very close game and the opponent got a really weird animation on his goal, but we held on for the two one win with Winnipeg. Also, who names their dog Mark? Uh -huh. Do you like your new toy? <laughs> So if you're keeping track at home, we started this challenge in game number 9 and finished it in game 48. That means we won a game with all 32 NHL teams in 40 games. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. So does that mean I get rewarded in game 49? <laughs> Absolutely not. My opponent in game 49 was extremely good and exposed every mistake I made. GG's, I'll take my loss. But that means we're now at the halfway mark. Did I do anything exciting? No. Why did I choose Minnesota? I don't know. Did I win? Yep. But I have a new challenge now. Let's try to hit a mission. Okay. I want to score one Michigan goal before this video ends. So we try again in game number 52. And this game was pretty close. And then the floodgates opened. An 8-2 win. But no Michigan. So let's try again. And in game number 53, you couldn't have wrote the script better. That's right, a Michigan on the first shot on goal and a rage quit to follow. You could not have scripted that better. Game number 54, I just have no idea how I lost that one. I had some great scoring chances and I just couldn't capitalize. I even dominated that game and still took the loss. But in game number 55, I got my sweet, sweet revenge. Game number 56 was an interesting one. It was a tie game until... Well, ain't that a shame. Aha, we found the same opponent in game number 57, and it looks like we're changing sides this time. Oh, come on. Game number 58 was pretty solid. We scored a shorthanded goal in the last minute with Nikita Zadorov to go up two, and that was enough to seal the deal. Game number 59 was just another game with no puck luck. I couldn't score on any of my chances, and let's talk about this unreal bounce for the game-winning goal for him. That sucks. Speaking of bounces, let's talk about the bounces in game number 60. These are my bounces. And these are his bounces. It was a close game, but I scored the game-winning goal with five seconds left. Not much to say about game number 61. A pretty straightforward game, an easy 6-3 win. Game number 62 was a very close game, and my opponent was pretty good, but I still managed the 2-1 win. Game number 63 was so sweaty. We took it to overtime and had possession the entire overtime period, waited for the opponent's mistake, and capitalized. That's a 2-1 win. All right, game number 60... Oh, come on. Okay, let me start off game number 65 by saying how much I hate using goalies. By the way, how many cross creases did this guy score on? Let's take a look. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Are you serious right now, bro? Also, I'm getting tired of constantly facing the Leafs and Oilers. McDavid ties this one in the last minute, but we win it in overtime from a goal by Bo Horvat. So now it's my turn to use Edmonton, and my opponent uses Tampa Bay. <sighs> we still come away with a 3-2 win. And now it's my turn to use Toronto, and with an easy 3-1 win. 
Nice. Speaking of nice, game number 69. <laughs> yeah, boy. Except it wasn't very nice at all. Another Tampa Bay crutch. And I've never seen someone poach check so much in my life. Can't say that I didn't try to win. Okay, so now it's my turn to use Tampa Bay in game 70. And my opponent uses Montreal. Well, now I feel bad, but an easy 3-1 win nonetheless. If you wanted to see an example of Ice Tilt, well, I got one for you in game 71. Like I said earlier in the video, I don't quit much in this video, but I just couldn't stand how much the puck was stuck to this guy. Hey, another Oilers use- Bye, have a great time. Game 74 was interesting because I have never seen someone try and force as many cross creases as this guy. Yikes. Game number 75 was a quick one. I go up early 2-1 in the first period and my opponent quits. On to the next game. Is that an all-star team user? I haven't seen one in like 50 games. They still got bodied. You can tell over the next few games that these games were starting to get to me. I just couldn't do it in this one. He was an Oilers crutch, ragging the puck in the corner, getting every single bounce. I'm sorry, my sanity is just more important. Game number 78, and we have the mirror match. Carolina versus Carolina. Unfortunately, I got the upper hand this time. GG's. Game number 79 is my first game back in a few days after taking a break, and I cannot believe I lost this one. I dominated him in every category, and I had him on his heels the entire game, but he scored an early cross crease goal, and that would be the only goal of the game. I was so annoyed with that loss. And after a loss like that, all you can do is hope you can bounce back. And in game number 80, the final dagger was an own goal after I poked it off him in front of the net. That was a good 3-0 win. In game number 81, I think my opponent was a little happy about that one. Days it ending, why? What? This guy had one game plan and it didn't matter if it was covered, he still found a way. This game was cool and number 82, it was the Battle of New York. And fortunately, for me, I got the better of the two teams and we went off a rage quit in the third period to go up 3-0. Now the next two games are the closest I got to just canceling this video idea completely. In game number 83, my opponent's internet was so bad and then the game disconnected me and it counted me for a loss when I was up 1-0. Now I use wired internet on my Xbox and I've never disconnected from a game. That's a load of garbage. But it gets even better in game 84 because Mark Sh what are you doing? He decides to go for a skate in the last minute of a 2-2 tie, which ends up costing me. All right, Zoo, keep it together. There's only 16 games left. A quick reset and a good bounce back in game number 85 as we go up 4-0 late in the second period to cause a rage quit. And for those of you asking why I don't use top tier teams, this is why. Wow, bro, you're Colorado, bro. Game number 86 might be the most insane and just frustrating game I played out of these 100 games. The shots in this game were 17 to 12. Would you like to guess what the score was? Well, I quit the game when he scored to make it 7 to 1. Oh, hell no. My goalie couldn't stop a beach ball, a shoplifter. He couldn't even make it for a four-way intersection. I couldn't get a bounce to save my life. I have absolutely no words for this game. But that's okay because in game number 87, my opponent scored on himself for the first goal of the game and quit. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. And in the dying minutes of game number 88 on a delayed penalty, I score a fantastic goal in the rush with Anthony Duclair to go up 2-1. to one. My opponent quits for the second game in a row. Same guy too. Going into game number 90, my opponent had one game plan going into the game, cross crease. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Unfortunately for him, I buried one late to go up 3-2 and that's all she wrote. All right, here we are, the last 10 games. Let's end on something special. I wanna win with Japan. I told you they'd come back in this video. And in game number 91, I had such a good chance, but I had a 3-2 late in the third period and the game got away from me. Which leads me to ask myself this question. Why did I wait until the higher rankings to try and win with Japan? Stupid. Actually, I take that back. It doesn't matter. Because in game number 92, we did it. This game was incredible. I was dominating in every category, drawing penalties, playing fantastic in my own zone while defending the corner camper, and I managed to force a rage quit after going up 3-1 in the third period. In game number 92, I felt a lot more confident with players that could actually skate. My opponent tapped in the 3-1 goal for me early in the third period and quit. On to the next one. 
This game was another definition of ice tilt, but for me this time. Another Tampa Bay user, but I completely dominated on shots and time on attack. He rage quit after the third goal. GG's. This game is dumb and stupid. Why you ask? Well, my opponent scores one early off of a dumb bounce. I dominate the rest of the game, but I can't bury a goal on 19 shots. I have over double time on attack. All of a sudden, we both blue screen after my pause. It fixes, but my that? opponent what is, is glitched. Wait, it... So to fix it, I score myself. He then lets me score on him, but then I couldn't bury one more to tie it. GG's. And to make matters worse in game number 96, this might be the most devastating loss of the whole video. I absolutely dominated this game. Countless scoring chances, Vassy made some unreal saves, but I lost to a muffin wrister in overtime. Why is it that every time I pick Carolina, I get matched with another Carol? Okay, never mind. And in game number 98, this is just one of those games that you hate to lose. Such a good battle all the way to the shootout, a questionable goal to win the game. Let me know in the comments if you think you stopped the forward momentum or not. And in game number 99, Spencer Knight cannot stop anything. I have five more shots and six times my opponent's time on attack, and Spencer Knight lets in three on six shots. I love that for me. But here we are, game number 100. I want to end on a Michigan, so I decide to choose the all-star team one time to go for a Michigan, but instead, I get paired up with the sweatiest kid on the console. I even took the liberty of messaging him and telling him I would let him win, but he didn't care. He would poke me every Michigan attempt and he would still cross crease. So do we end on that note? <laughs> no. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Like I said, this video took me over 20 hours to make, so if you enjoyed the content, I really would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below as well. My name is Zoo. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.